welcome the woman behind the leer, Eva Pope. Those evil bit of stuff. They always say that it's more fun playing villains than it is playing straight goody goodies. Really. It's, it's yeah. true. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, now, what about this woman? She's a bit devious, isn't she? What, this one? Yes. Yeah. No, no, she's not devious. Well, she's a bit she's nasty the only devious that. woman I've never played. Well, she with that bloke. Well, I mean, yeah, I didn't understand what you meant. <laughs> Saying, you know, I'll be inventing something, I didn't say that. Yeah, so she's a, bit, she's a bit cruel. But, I mean, a good character to play, and there's a heck of a plot line going on there at the moment. We've got guns waving yes, and stuff, Yes, it's we? a serious series this time yeah. round, isn't it? There's a lot of heavy stuff that people are all talking about, like contentious stuff, really. Well, I was going to say, because the soaps always have, every now and again, their storylines which reflect current problems within society. Mm. Waterloo clear, uh, clearly has that brief as well as being, you know, just a good drama. Yeah. You've got things in there, you, you're sort of tackling issues that are in, uh, prominent in schools at the moment. So. Well, you're dealing with schools and you're dealing yeah. with a, a large part of the audience, the kids, and they actually benefit, I believe, from, from the letters I get so much from seeing stuff that they goes on in their schools. Well, it's interesting because the police forces often say, oh, I rate this police um, soap, we'll call it soap, police continuing drama, uh, because <laughs> it's truer to, the, to my job than others. Do you get people then saying to you, Waterloo Road, that really is like our school, you're, you're right that way, and is it something you're conscious of, of doing, is portraying a school like that in, in the true light, as it were? I think because it's a drama, it's always going to be a little bit yes. over the top and, and stretch, the imagination has to stretch a bit for it, but I've got teachers in my family and, I, and they say there's an awful lot of truth in it and a lot of kids write letters saying that goes on in our school and you don't see it represented anywhere else so I mean I think it's doing good. Did personally. you do your research with them then, your, your teaching relatives? Did you, do you go up and ask them and say, yeah, yeah you, do, you just act, you <laughs> just, just make do it, it make it <laughs> yeah, just as you would as a head teacher. Exactly, so, yeah. yeah. So, but you've not been in a school before, I mean, have you, have you not taught in a school other than from, you know, because there's a pupil. You've not taught, have you ever taught? No, never. I've often considered maybe teaching drama, but not had the chance yet, not the time, not the time, <laughs> luckily. She was busy, I mean, that yeah. lump in Weatherfield as well, on the cobbles there. You that was 15 years ago, Anne. 15. It, it goes 14. like that. Mm. Astonishingly, I, I checked the dates and then thought, oh, it's quite recent. And you think, just a minute, the early 90s is no longer recent, it is. It oh. is that and I wish I still looked like that as well. You do to us. <laughs> it's high definition television, which is most most actresses' total fear. Terrible. Oh, threatening to show me too close up. How does it compare being in something like Waterloo Road with Coronation Street? What's the, is the pace? The hours, uh, well, when I did Corrie, it was only, I think, a couple of episodes a week. It wasn't like what it is now. So the workload I have, because being the headmistress, I'm in everything all the time, in every sort of storyline, my nose is in it. And um, so I'm there all the time, full on, most full on job I've ever done. Time-wise. They, they, they talk about Corrie being punishing as well, as you said, not yeah. as many days then. But similar kind of family feel, presumably. You're part oh, of I've actually never worked on a show as close yeah. as, I, as this one, as Waterloo Road. Everyone gets on so well, and it's just lovely having the kids around. Because they sort of balance it out and make it normal and bring fun to the grumpy old actors who are, <laughs> you know, sort of complaining about not getting a long enough lunch break or whatever. And, doing their and the kids are so enthusiastic, and we're like... Mm. <laughs> Uh, you, you pop up, it's interesting, as when I, I get bio, biographies to, to read and do my research with people I interview on the programme, you say, oh yes, she was in that, oh she was in that. and of course she was in Life on Mars. Yeah, I did Life on Mars, yeah. The character that Wheeler Dealer, who had these rather suspect parties in the evening, mm, you were the wife who rather the, took a shine the, to The uh, keys and the, yes. yeah. Yeah. Did you know when you were a part of that that it was going to be such a hit? Because I mean, Life on Mars took off incredibly. Yeah, you just don't know, do you, yeah. until it actually happens. You don't know how it's going to be received, but I mean, had some fantastic actors on it, I think, with John Well, Sims. Gene Hunt as well, you know, the, the PC, in, on PC. Well, he, he, I've played his girlfriend in a show a couple of years ago, played uh, a, a comedy series with John Singh when I was his girlfriend in that, mm. about 12 years ago. So it was lovely actually working with them both again. So you and Glenister and Sim go back a long way. Yeah, we do indeed. Well, it's lovely to talk to you. Good luck with Waterloo Road. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank nice you. to see you teaching. I'll do a bit of teaching now and let you off. Ladies and gentlemen, Eva Pope. Thank you.